Hey Sparky, hey Spark Kids, welcome to our brand new episode. It's gonna be good, isn't it? Now, I know what we all want to know, Sparky, is have you made any new friends yet? Because that was your New Year's resolution, wasn't it? Okay, so you're gonna to go to the park and try and make some new friends. Have you made any friends? Oh, great, that's great to hear. Do you want to tell me about them? Okay, you've made one friend. His name is Horatio. He has four legs. I know he's got four legs, he's a dog. Some dogs have three legs. Not many though, is it Sparky? Okay, do you want to tell me anything else about Horatio? Hmm. Sparky says Horatio keeps like hitting his nose with his paw. That's all right, isn't it? Oh, apparently to dogs, that's very, very rude. That's a bad habit Horatio's got then, isn't it? Sparky said something even stranger. Sparky said that after he'd been with him for a while, Sparky started scratching his nose with his paw too. How rude, Sparky! Oh, Sparky, I didn't mean to make you sad, mate. All right, okay. But I'm sure you can stop doing that, can't you? Let Anyway, let's find out the next bit about best friends and we'll work on that while we're gone, yeah? Okay. It's week two of our best friend series, and let's go and meet up with our super friend hero. Full of that. Let's meet up with our superhero friends again. We've got Tommy, Beth, Oliver, Alex, and Flora. And today we're gonna to be talking about Beth. Beth loved being part of the Fabulous Five. They had so much fun together, not only when they were rescuing people and defeating baddies, but just when they were at school and laughing together and having so much fun. One morning, Beth came down to the breakfast hall and she was about to head over to her normal table with the fabulous five when someone else said something. Hi Beth, he said. She looked round. It was a boy named Marvo from the year above. He wasn't in her class. Hi, she said. He was all alone on the table. Come and sit with me, he said. I'm all alone. Oh, Beth looked over at her friend's table, but she was very kind. All right, she said, and she came and sat down. Marvo was very funny. He started to tell very silly stories and make fun of the teachers and some of the kids and some of the super baddies. Beth found herself laughing a lot, even though some of what he said was a bit mean and she wasn't sure she would have said it. But anyway, it was very funny being with Marvo that morning and she quite enjoyed herself. And it was fun to see all her friends again in their lesson. But no sooner had they sat down to start doing their superhero maths than the bell started to ring. Ding -ling 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 -ling. She knew what that meant. There's a super baddie doing something wrong, she said. Let's go. Her and the fabulous five and the rest of the class flew out the window into the sky and swooped after Rupert the robot who was showing them the way. But suddenly she saw that another class were coming today too. It was Marvo's class. Beth, Marvo said, fly with me. Well, all right, she said, and they flew together. But just before they got to where Rupert the robot was pointing, Marvo said, quick, down here. He flew down among some houses and Beth, thinking he'd found a shortcut or a secret way or something, followed him. But Marvo had landed just outside a coffee shop and he went inside. Would you like a cup of coffee? He said to Beth. Uh... No thanks, said Beth. Shouldn't we be helping rescue someone or get rid of the bad guys or something? Oh, the others will do it fine, said Marvo. We don't need to make an effort. There are so many superheroes in our classes. They definitely don't need our help. Um, said Beth, a bit worried. She liked rescuing people and doing her superhero job. She didn't really like skiving off lessons. All right, she said, I, okay. Uh, but Marvo had already sat down and bought her an orange juice. She sat down on the edge of her feet, feeling a, her seat, feeling a bit uncomfortable. 
Oh, don't worry, said Marvo. The super hit baddies can't be that bad. They'll be fine. Anyway, let's make fun of Rupert the robot. Isn't he silly? I am a robot. He did. And Beth couldn't help laughing a little bit, but she still wasn't very happy about abandoning the Fabulous Five. What if they wanted to become the Fabulous Four again? Suddenly, outside the coffee shop window, there was a commotion. An ice cream van came roaring down the street and Beth could see that driving it were super baddies and in the back were super baddies, stealing all the ice cream and all the money from the ice cream van till. A few moments later, she saw all of the Fabulous Five flying after it, trying to catch up, but they couldn't. That was it. Beth stood up and said to Marvo, I am not abandoning my friends for one moment more. I, do, I want to be a superhero, not someone who just sits around and makes fun of people. She flew out of the shop and chased after the ice cream van. Beth's superpower was to make a force field shield and she did it all over the ice cream van so that the baddies couldn't escape and couldn't move any further. Her and the rest of the Fabulous Five caught up and caught all the baddies and the owner of the ice cream van gave them an ice cream to say thank you. While they were licking their ice creams, Oliver said to Beth, great job with the force field, Beth. We wouldn't have got him without you. Thanks, said Beth. And said Flora, we are the best team ever, the Fabulous Five. We sure are, said Beth and she was so glad that she had joined her friends again. Now, Spark Kids, one of the things when we're looking for friends to see if we can find any anywhere, it's really important that we find friends that we want to be like. Because the people that we spend time with change how we are. Let me read to you from the Bible. In Proverbs, which is a book of lots and lots of very wise things in the Bible, it says, the righteous choose their friends carefully, but the way of the wicked leads them astray. That means the righteous or bright lights or Christians like you and up me are very purposeful about choosing friends. We choose friends who help us on our journey rather than friends who are gonna make us do things we didn't really want to do in the first place. And then in Proverbs 13, 20, it says, walk with the wise and become wise for the companion of fools suffers harm. This is saying that when you walk with people who are a certain way, like wise, you will become that way. So if you spend time with people who are wise or kind or good or funny, you'll probably become more like them. But then if you spend time with people who are naughty or bad or silly or cruel, you might become like them. So it's really important that we find friends who we want to be like. Because have you noticed that friends are often all quite similar? They might dress the same way, they might tell the same jokes, they may act the same way and like the same things. So it's important that we find friends who are in the same way that we want to be like. So people who are kind, who are wise, who are sensible, well-behaved, who are funny and fun and encouraging, imaginative, whatever those good things are that we want to be like ourselves, we want to find friends who are like that too. And when you're making friends, when you find someone who you think, I want to be their friend, you can talk to them, you can ask them questions about themselves, you can invite them to play, you can be kind to them, and you can start being friends with the people that you want to be like. Let's pray together that we're going to find amazing friends. Dear God, help me to find great friends and help me to be a good friend too. Amen. Oh, Sparky, that all makes sense now, doesn't it? Because you become like the people you hang around with. You become like your friends. I wonder if that means I'm going to become more like you with like long ear. Oh, that is a bit similar, isn't it? Maybe I'll get green eyes or a fluffy face. Kind of hope not. Anyway, the reason you've been scratching your nose in that very rude way is because you were hanging out with Horatio but maybe what we could do is get him to stop too. But anyway, should we give the Spark Kids their craft challenge for the week? Okay, so this is your challenge. 
you are going to make a paper chain like this that me and Sparky made earlier. And on each one of each link of the paper chain, you're going to write something about what kind of person you want to be and what kind of friends you want to have. So I've written funny and prayerful and helpful, playful and kind. So you can think about what kind of things do you want to be like? And that can help you choose some really nice friends like that. We didn't write on scratching nose with paw, did we? Because that is a bit rude. But I can't wait to see your paper chains. Have lots of fun and we'll see you next week.